but I was reading about that. Um, you traveled with him quite a bit, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, and you learned like a lot of the stuff that he does, and then uh, Joe. I was really curious. It says on here that you do. It's called Low Down Blues, and I'm not really familiar with the blues all that much. Kind of Muddy Waters, yes. Helen Wolf. I, I, I know who he is. But uh, what is um, the Low Down Blues? Can you explain that? It's the real blues. See, if you live the blues, blues, you get a feeling from the blues. Just like religion, you know? Mm -hmm. It's something people think is sad. But the blues make you happy because the blues is about life. Real life. Real life. Real life, the ups, the downs, the Right, right. Yeah. That's what the blues is about. And if you haven't had them, you can't feel it. That makes sense. That really does. All right. Um, who else have you, um, you know, toured with, played with besides uh, Howard Wolf? Well, <laughs> Wolf was my favorite. And... I like the Jimmy Reed, Muddy Water and stuff, but see, when I first started singing, my timing was bad. And Wolf, one night we were at a place, and he got on the bandstand about 300 people there, he talked about them. I went to him, I said, man, I don't know. I said, please teach me. So he told me, he said, well, Wolf, come teach you. So when my band, Hello. Hello. So then he taking the liking to me. See, when I first started singing, it was calling me Carl and James. So Wolf gave me a name to tell that because my time was. And I was always late. Okay, that's how you got to your mic. Okay. So he, when I come in, he get on the mic and come dragging his tail. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Um, when did you start uh, learning from him? Well, uh, around 1973. With him for like around 20 years or so? Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Well, he died in 76, January yeah. 10th. Yeah. So when he went playing, he would tell his band to go help me out. Yeah. One day, this boy would take my place and go help him out here. So his band would play with me, you know, and he taught me a lot about the music, you know, and how to set you up. Speakers and stuff, you know. How you all set up and everything. Yeah, I learned a lot from him. You know, a lot of people thought he was being, but Wolf was a great guy. If he liked it, now. if he didn't like it, he'd take it. Well, he was one, he was honest. He was a very honest guy. He, yeah. would, he would tell you exactly right. how he felt about stuff right. and things. And that, you know, but that's, that's a good thing to me. I think that's a good thing. Yeah, he was straight, you know. Now, like when he hit the bandstand, no smoking, no drinking. Come off the bandstand, he buy you a drink, buy you food. He look at you, I know you're hungry. Come on, get you something cheap. That's what he called, you know. <laughs> that was great, that was great. So, um, your songs, um, do you do you uh, write, do your own songs, or is it, you know? What I do, I never write nothing down. I just look at life when I go in the studio or come off the top of my head, that's the way I do it. Very spontaneous, that's great. That is great, all right. You know, you, you don't have to write it down. Life, you know it, you live in it. That's true. Yep. So when we go in the studio, what come to my mind, mm -hmm. that's the way I write my song. Think about something that happened to me in, there it is. Well, yeah. I never sit down on no paper. They put nothing together. It comes 
Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. Well, I know. And uh, now, uh, can can people find you like uh, in the media? Like, do you use like Facebook, Twitter, anything like that? Or? Well, the technology is pretty much everywhere. Yeah, technology is everywhere. I think I'm on Facebook. I, you know, I'm not up on the computer and stuff. You know, my wife should do all that. You know. Oh, okay. She yeah. does all that too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We have a really nice website. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, where are you going to go from here? Are you going to play in more places? Or? No, um, going back to Chicago, I got a little club there I play in. One of their March Lounge, uh, 4223 West Mountain. I play that one in Chicago. But last month I was over in Brazil, Chile, and Argentina. I was over there. For a month, about four days, so I get back. I got some property down in Hot Spring, Arkansas. So I'm going down there, and I got the work I got to do. So in January, I go back to French. In March, I go to Panama. In May, I go back to Europe. Oh, my goodness. You're just all over the place. That's great. Last weekend, I was out of Phoenix, Arizona. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for taking the time out and talking to us. Uh, is there anything you'd like to add or say? And this is for KJAG Radio, by the way. Um, and uh, definitely appreciate it. And we'll get and we'll get the end up on there so you can, you can well, see it. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much. All right. Um, any last thing you'd like to say? Any advice to uh, any blues artists coming up? Anything like that you can tell them? Well, try to stay with the real blues. Keep it real. Keep it real. See, people now, a lot of them, they mix the blues. They're not playing the real blues. And people don't know the blues. They think that's the real blues. <laughs> because a lot of them never heard the real blues. So they think that's blues, and it's not blues. No, there's a major difference. You know, I haven't changed my style from the 47 years I've been out here. I keep it real. See, a lot of people, they play it just to make money. But if I don't feel it, you can't feel it. I got to feel mm-hmm. it first. So that's why I got to keep it real. If I change my style, sure, I'll probably could play more places. But I couldn't feel it, so I can't do it. It's not the same. Mm-hmm. Well, that's great. Well, thank you so much, and definitely keep it real. Thank you very much. I got to keep it real. <laughs> All right. Well, this is Jody Rogers and Livia Lowe, and we were talking with Tail Dragon, and I hope you guys come out to the show tonight. Thank you. Well, thank you.